So, uh, boss, why did you want to meet me out here again? Well, it's very simple, Space Final Wars. Can you explain to me, like, why are you just letting Zeline leave you? Wait, oh, right, you, you saw my comment. Yeah, I did. So, care to explain? Well, I'm pretty sure Sir Burning Gods will told you already, but... She said my blood tastes terrible. And she, and she was cheating on me with Lizard and Kyra's fedora. And you're just gonna let her cheat on you? Well, I mean... Man the frick up, man. Just, ow! Man up! Ugh. What do you mean, man up? Look, I don't want you to go down the same road, road, road I went down, okay? I went through so many breakups back then. Way too many to even count. You thought you had relationship problems? Heh. <laughs> Karen's at three and still will tell you how many girlfriends, how many girls I dated. Britain, oh boy, you're, you're, you, you'll be so shocked that you'll probably feel more bad about me. How many did you go through? Oh, uh, let's say around... Two billion girls. Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, I definitely feel bad for you now. I feel really bad for you. Yep. Most of them weren't even breakups. They just saw me as a monster. A beast with no feelings, and... Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I can see why you're wanting to help me out now. Yeah, I went through too many breakups that I don't want none of my friends to go down that road. I went through, I went down that road the hard way. And from now on, I'm not going to let my, any of my friends go through, down that road, which is why I'm going to call Celine on my phone. You're going to call her? Yes, I'm going to call her, and then you two are going to make up. And if I swear to God, if you two break up one more time, I'm gonna have Thunder Kong to freaking sit on your favorite little, on your little throne for like a month. <gasps> please, please, just don't do that, don't do that, please. <laughs> then don't break up next time, otherwise I will do that. Now we're, I'm gonna call Zelina and you two are gonna make up. I'm tired of fixing relationship problems. Wait, you done this before? Like, you fixed relationship problems? Yeah, I did. Like, literally. King of the three and still doesn't. They went through a hard time. They went through a breakup. I had to fix that, like, five times. And then I'm gonna have to, then I had to fix many other friends of mine, and then it was just, like, freaking crazy. It was like, oh my god. Just like, Jesus Christ. It was just a pain in the butt, Space Runners. You have no idea what it was like for me. So, so, I'm quite literally tired of fixing relationship problems. This is like literally, like the, like the five millionth time I had to fix a relationship problem. Wait, um, hold on, didn't, don't, didn't you um, give Astrozilla 1954 ideas for like Godzilla and Take Hell to the Rebellion? Yes. And I had to freaking tell him that he was the one who was messing up Godzilla's relationship. Not me. I was trying to fix it. And then when he finally realized that, I was like, he was just like, holy crap, you're right. I am the one who's ru ruining the relationship. You're trying to fix it. Wait. When were you gonna... Wait. How did you fix it? Simple. I had Godzilla to be with Cassandra, and I had Godzilla Jr. to be with Astrid. Astrodilla was so afraid that to ruin Godzilla's relationship with Astrid, but when I told him that, that he was quite literally ruining Godzilla's relationship by bringing Brooklyn into the picture. And so, yeah, and plus, Godzilla Jr. and Godzilla are both Godzillas. There's, like, yeah, I see your point now. 
can see your point now. And I was only in a fan series. I was only like in a fan fiction series. And I still have to fix the relationship problem. Jesus. Yeah, I know. So, how did you convince him? Since who? Well, it was simple. I just kind of told him that they're both Godzillas. Godzilla and X Astro is not really going anywhere. It's still there. So, yeah. Same thing goes for Godzilla X Brooklyn. Shin Godzilla in that universe is freaking Godzilla's grandfather. So Godzilla X Brooklyn ain't going anywhere either. Because they're both Godzillas. Alright, I just sent her a text. She's not responding to my calls. So we'll just sit here and wait. Oh, okay, that was fast. She actually responded. Wait, she actually responded? Yeah. She said, what do you want? I want to know why you think it's a good idea to break up with my homeboy. <laughs> Alright. Okay. She says, oh, that. Um, I can explain. You better, or otherwise I'm going to have... A bunch of werewolves tear your ass, tear you apart. Wait, wait a minute. What? What is it? Holy crap! Okay. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna react to this, but she didn't actually cheat on you. Wait, wait. What? What do you mean she didn't cheat on me? I I, I saw her with him. Uh, apparently she was drinking someone else's blood, by the way. She was drinking another person who looks like you. Oh. Oh, never mind. But, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because she's pregnant again. What? Yep, she's pregnant. Same reason that she told me when I fixed your relationship the first time. Like that this time, it was something a bit more personal. What do you mean? Well, Wadri Kaiser basically forced her to break up with you. Because he kind of has your daughter hostage. Oh my god. I'm going to kill that three-headed freak. Hold on, I'm going to tell her something. Next time, don't listen to that three-headed freak. Come to me. Got it? She said, got it. All right, now, you go back to your universe and deal with that three-headed freak. I'm going to kill me a freaking King Adora. You do that. I'm just going to sit out here and watch the sun. 